got it? Yeah. For simplicity, we are going to split this video in stages. We're going to do one module at a time. We're going to explain you the wiring for the canvas first, then what is needed to be done for the head-up display, and lastly, all the wiring that needs to be done from the head unit to the trunk, and then every single plug that needs to be modified. Grab a pen and paper. This is the list of items that you need. The part numbers and details are, for the camera is very specific since the windshield is different from the F30. The bracket is shared across all chassis of the F30. The mirror covers are also different because of the inclination of the windshield. The driver assist control buttons. And please note that we're not going to retrofit lane change warning. We are only putting in front collision warning and lane departure warning. This replacement wiring is made for the X3 or X5. However, it can be used for the F30 chassis. The only thing that is needed is to invert pins 9 and number 10. The trim cover for the driver assistance system is dependent on the color of your trim on your dashboard. And the last one, very important one, is the actual ECU for the CAFA system. I will put the complete number list on the description below. Uh, let's get the wiring done. Okay, so the dashboard is out. Off camera, what we did is uh, kind of like try the first, kind of routed the cables to what could be the, the, the optimal location of them. But I decided to go truly OEM and uh, actually take the, the, the wire loom that comes from the FEM module and wire follow all this this uh, the, the path that goes through here under here gets this wire here goes to the dashboard and all the way back to the into the cluster so what the cable that we are going to do here is for the CAFAS module for the camera that you need to pass the two cables in the wire loom from through here following this and then you come out to this to the a pillar just make sure that when you pass these cables do not interfere with the airbag because that could be a very terrible mistake so just follow the original uh, cable that goes up there for the microphone and I'm gonna tape all this together so it just makes one uh, loom it's that's gonna, gonna be the project together to one yep. cable are those the extra cables you put in yes these are the extra cables from the wire loom so this too this is for the heater uh for the heating uh element on the windshield i need a new windshield for that right yeah you need a new windshield and the cable that actually is for the cafe so it's the the, ca the cable that connects directly to the camera right here now what do i do just hold the camera yep oh great <laughs> Smile and wave, boys. Oh, sh oh no, I'm broke. Something fell inside. Yeah, so now we're gonna have forever a rattling thing in here. <laughs> Let's do this properly. Exactly. None of this hack job, just a semi hack job. <laughs> so there. There's this green wire that goes to the fuse box that we're gonna attach it to the OEM wire here that it's for the headlights, the headlight switch and the controller for the uh, lane warning change, uh, change warnings and that kind of stuff, front collision and if you're gonna retrofit this, make sure that before you pass the cables, which I did, I passed, I made my own cable for these three wires. Make sure you check because this was stuck like this with tape, and it was just an annoyance for nothing. You just you it, this is already there. Oh, so you wired your own cable and then realized it already had one. Yeah. Oh, that's that was a, that was a two-hour waste genius. of time. But yeah. So you have that that cable that your little uh, wiring in there somewhere. Yep, that wire was already there. No, I'm saying, where's your, where's your uh, hack job? Oh, I already took it out. Oh. I, 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 I didn't want it. I wanted, I didn't want to look at it. 
<laughs> made me sad. So here is the, the original cable. And as you can see, I put tape here like the worst possible way. So this is the original loom. And what I'm gonna do is basically tape this green wire all the way through the glo to, to the glove box. Now, that should be exciting. Yep, <laughs> super exciting. Oh, there's another Can't cable wait. here where the, the CAFAS module goes, we will install it right here. And we have this this other part of the trim, the, I mean the, the loom. This one is more complicated. Because it's behind the carpet. Because the connectors for this are, Jay, can you come over to this side? Oh, great. And just, you know, do some exercise, walk around. Okay, I'm shifting. What we need to do is remove the carpet here. Lift up the carpet. Yeah. I love how your carpet is so flexible. Yeah. Not like mine. So one of the wires here from this thing, it's the ground wire that we need to I can get oh, sorry. Yeah. So the ground wire needs to be connect goes to this plug right here. Okay. And we passed it the same way that we passed following the, the, the original loom. We went here and had an empty slot, so we just put it right there. Now, the other ones from this thing go into this giant spaghetti right here. Spaghetti monster? Spaghetti monster that you have to remove the carpet, unclip this, this, uh, this plastic tool, and right here, there are two big connectors with the same color wiring. The two cables that we're looking for are the blue and red, which are located in pin 9 and 10. These cables are actually uh, connected directly into the wire loom in the, in, the, in the plug, and they go to the white box here. And there are two junction points where the red cable would go and the one with the red cable would go like in this uh, diagram. We're not gonna film this, are we? No, 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 no. That was done uh, off camera and it was a pain in the ass. Okay. So that's done. Evaluate by yourselves if you think this is worth it. And it took me two and a half hours just to plug, just to connect those wires. So... It's because you have to work in a very... Yeah. Uh, tight it's situation. It's a very tight spot. <laughs> like moving this carpet, it's the most... The, one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. You will be the judge. You're yeah. the master of your own fate. <laughs> so that makes it for the wiring of the CAFES camera, or actually the entire Loom 4, the entire uh, system. Now, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna cut this video here, and then on the next one, we're gonna explain how to do the head-up display, and then another one just for the MBT. So it's just easy to follow and not kind of like get lost in the middle of uh, the wiring and where they go. Um, as you can see here on the diagram, we have passed the blue and red cable can high and can low system. We have the brown and black wires that goes to the windshield uh, heating elements as well as the CAFIS camera. And we also have the green wire that goes across all the dashboard bracket. It goes to the front of the car to the fuse box. Thank you so much for joining us and watching this video. Um, next week, we're gonna finish the head up display and continue then to the MBT Evo unit wiring. And hopefully we won't break anything. So far, we've been good, but who knows. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and see you next week. Bye.